Hey, what's up, everybody? Here it is, Keith D. Cobbin, the author, that's me, yeah, of the book series Swirling and the short novel Swirling is soon to be out on Amazon. Uh, let me just take this time to talk about yesterday as I was at Salvation Army here in Maui, Hawaii, taking a shower and washing my laundry. This white lady, 69 years old, whatever she is, she's right around that age, you know, we got into a conversation about my adventures across America. <clears throat> I meant to make a part two of this video. But anyway, I told her this is the 49th state I've been to. And she's been living here, she said, for 27 years. And I've lived it as a black man on the uh, mainland. I've seen a lot of things in the last uh, 49 years. Because here in about less than a month, I'll be 49 years old. But she got smart with me and talking her shit. And I said, you know what? Let me tell you something right now, lady. I know what's going on. I live in a reality world. I don't know what white Christian world you live in that you created for yourself or your people. My people, we've been slaves in this country. Killed, had our children fed to the alligators, our babies, that is. So I told her all that, and she got all upset, and not all white people like that. No, but you seem to be one of those white people that's like that, though. See, See Mark works in the office there. And he's from the state of Virginia, though. He was homeless here on the streets for a while, which you, people aren't really homeless. They're just houseless. They, they houseless, like my sister Cece said. She's from Denver, Colorado. She's been living here for about 11 years, so. Uh, she just said, hey, you know, some of these people ain't right in the head. I said, yeah, I know. But anyway, I challenged her, and I shut her up, though. You know, she her up and talking about, I don't want to talk about it. I said, well, bitch, then, then shut your mouth. I ain't calling no bitch, but I'm thinking, well, then you shouldn't open your mouth and say nothing unless you got some facts and know what's going on. You don't. So she shut her mouth and went on. I said, well, you know what? I did the right thing. I praised myself for standing up to her. You know what I'm saying? Ugly, fat, white woman. You know what I'm saying? The kind black men want to lay up with and get to know and all this other stuff. So after I told her, she went running to this other uh, black man talking to him and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I said, well, I ain't got nothing to say to the bitch because her ego is bruised. I bruised her ego up pretty bad and told her she's hurt, so I didn't give a shit. She don't come at me like a damn fool. But anyway, this is author Keith D. Cobbin. Leave your comments below. Subscribe.